I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. And hello everyone, welcome back to our continuing playthrough of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. Huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every single day. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. Every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys, and I love hanging out at the premieres with you. I've decided uh, that we're actually going to be uploading these episodes daily because there I actually got a couple comments about wanting to play this alongside us and you can't really do that if I'm only uploading three episodes a week so we're uploading an episode every single day and I hope that you guys enjoy it so we'll be premiering those every day 2 p.m eastern right here on YouTube so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe notification bell they you get you get the idea anyways in the last episode of Mass Effect part zero we created our Commander Shepard Commander Corey Shepard the the sole survivor of a coos who grew up as a colonist has decided dedicated her entire life to making sure that other humans in the far reaches of the traverse do not have to deal with what she has gone through that is her goal and uh the things that she's done is she's actually gotten one of the l5 implants that means that she is now a biotic the reason she did that is because she wants to protect people not just herself anymore by being just a true soldier but she wants to use her newfound abilities to protect those around her and keep as many people safe as she can so she became a biotic an adept if you will in this episode we are going to head to eden prime but before we do that we need to go ahead and talk to uh some of our crewmates you here you probably don't want to keep the captain waiting commander oh yeah i guess is that you probably don't want to keep oh. the captain waiting, Commander. I thought I had this big build-up to everything, Caden, and then you kind of let me... <clears throat> okay, anyways, what about Joker? The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Wow, you guys really suck. Here I I tried to, like, introduce the dialogue. You know what? Whatever. I know who we can go talk to. Navigator saw, Presley. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Interesting. Navigator Presley talking to Engineer Adams down in the uh, engineering thing, obviously. Hello, Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Yeah, but I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. I think you're right. There's definitely something going on with the fact that Nihilus is even here, but I have to ask about... You don't trust Nihilus. Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Yeah, that was a that long was time ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Now, a lot of these are actually missable codex entries that you can get by talking to Presley, so I highly recommend any single time that you talk to somebody in Mass Effect, if they have this option on this side here to investigate, I highly recommend exploring those options and getting those. Remember, you get experience from unlocking codex entries, so it is worth doing that. So I got to be honest, I think it is really, really cool that you have a... Imagine, if you will, right now, we get into a war with some first contact alien species that we discover. And then in 30 years, that's not that long. In 30 years, we're like friends with them and, and running... I mean, that's... That's pretty wild. That's a that's a pretty big deal. And the fact that he's even a specter. Oh, Do you have man. a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. 
You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Yeah, a uh, Spectre on board, one of the most decorated captains in all of the Alliance military, and we're on a ship that has uh, special what stealth systems. What do you know systems. about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You know, at first, Navigator Presley, I thought you were kind of just gossipy. But but at that statement right there, you're right. This this could go south at any time. Well, you know what? We'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> Thank you. See, we got a codex entry and 24 experience just by talking to Navigator Presley. Something I can do for you, again, Commander? You I can, was curious about a few things. You can go ahead and talk you to him and again. You and me both. Like and I said you before, can, if you, you know, if you accidentally leave the conversation before you investigate, you can head talk down to them and in. see the captain. It's no big deal. Yes, ma'am. So we're gonna go, I and there are more dog. people to talk to, of course. Visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Corporal Jenkins and Dr. Chakwas. Chakwas. Cool name. Anyways, this is uh, going to be very useful right here. You can actually go ahead and only the commanding officer may specify it. Oh, come on! Anyways, obviously, uh, there's going to be some events that are going to change that. There's nobody else that we can talk to except for Chakwas and, uh, and Corporal Jenkins. So let's go ahead and talk to them. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Yeah, I'd say just relax a little bit. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Oh, dude, Jenkins, you got a bright future what ahead of you. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. All right, all right. D d d d what do you know about the Spectres? Calm down, fanboy. Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Yeah, that's, you know, when I was younger, I used to think, oh, that's so cool. Like, they don't have to worry about any red tape or bureaucracy or anything. And now that I'm older, I'm like, okay, but they're also super authoritarian. And like, that's, you know, then politics start to get involved. And anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's return to that. There are no human specters. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Specters usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good specter. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. Yeah, um... Yeah, but that's not... I don't... I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I... I didn't mean to offend you. I... I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Thank Commander. You. Was there something else you needed? Thank you, Corporal. That was very nice. Let's go ahead and talk about Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. 
And we're heading to Eden Prime right now. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Oh, listen, Jenkins, you're going to do Just great, man. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. Why do you keep this bringing that up, chance. dude? I need to show the brass what I can do. Yeah, but hey, listen. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Exactly. Exactly. Anyways, that's all we can talk about. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. We got plus two Paragon points for choosing those options, more codex and experience options. Let's go ahead and see yes, if we Commander, can ask you anything else real what quick. What can you tell me about cost? Don't forget that. How do that you control part. agents with unlimited power? That's what I wanted to know. I suppose the council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. It sounds like... The captain's waiting for me. Sounds like Goodbye, that might Commander. be a thing. Goodbye, Anyways, Commander. I think that we've gotten all that we can get out of our discussions with them, but I wanted to check something real quick. I just wanted to double check to see if there was any other dialogue trees that I could force uh, without, you know, I want to make sure that you guys get to see it. So it looks like Nihilus is hanging out in there. Is there any other parts of the ship that we can explore this early? Nope, doesn't look like we can't. Oh, hello. Uh, that was weird. Autosave? Anyways, let's go see what Nihilus is up to. It looks like he's looking at a screen of Eden Prime. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh... That seems threatening. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Knew it! This mission we is far it. more than a simple shakedown run. Yep. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Yeah, but you should have told me. I don't me. like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I'm kind of curious why we told the Council. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Yup. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Wait, Nihilus did? 
Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. You know, I gotta be honest. I really love Nihilus. This guy seems awesome. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Looks like we have our first squad mate, folks. And we are this right here. This codec entry for Protheans is actually one that is completely missable. So if you don't get it here, you do not get it. So it is very important that you go ahead and investigate and talk about the Protheans. The Protheans being some of the most important information you can find out in the entire Mass Effect series. So let's find out about them. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Very interesting. So the Protheans built the Citadel. The Protheans are responsible for the Mass Effect relays. They're responsible for the, the our, every race's ability to fly through space. Very interesting. What about Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. As if it wasn't already super important for our Shepherd, Commander Corey Shepherd here, to protect a colony, especially one as as important as Eden Prime. What about the beacon? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. What do you mean wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Mm, what's that? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. And that is why we are on a stealth ship that is meant to hide everything. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... What was... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. Nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. That. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. 
Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. That's Caden Alenko. The Sentinel. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you, sir. We are approaching drop point two. You know, when I was younger, I used to think that that, that image of that, whatever that is, I used to think that was a hand. I thought it was a hand. It looked like a hand. It looked like a big metallic hand. And I was like, what is that? That's huge. Anyways, we are now officially on Eden Prime. You can see that there's been a lot, a lot of, a lot of issues here. So you can actually just hit, if you're on a PlayStation 5, you can actually just hit the uh, controller here. These are gas bags. These actually do count towards uh, one of the trophies that you can get. Whoop. Uh, for getting kills. So those do count as kills. Thank you, tutorials. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to aim down sights and hit those. And uh, obviously that, you know, works pretty, pretty easily. I recommend exploring every nook and cranny because this is, after all, an RPG and you want to make sure that you come and get stuff, especially if there's a hidden thing right here with an armor upgrade for a stimulant pack. That's one of the things, and you'll see that we got a codex entry for that and a grenade. So one of the things that are is uh, kind of cool in this is you can actually change your equipment here. So if we go ahead and look at our armor, you can see that we have different types upgrades. We can actually put in a stimulant pack. Armor equipped with stim packs release targeted shots of adrenaline, speed up recovery and recharge times, which is super strong on an adept. So we're gonna go ahead and equip that as well. So you can see that we actually just got some more stuff, but there actually is an RPG element to this game, as you can see right here where, you know, you can actually adjust and, and put ammo upgrades. And all. It's pretty cool. Big fan of that. We can also go ahead and check that we have Caden Alanko here in our party. And of course, Richard L. Jenkins. Uh, he's going to be a huge, huge asset in this game. Trust me. Uh, but they also have equipment that you can uh, do. Now, we do have, now that we have members of our squad, we can actually see what's going on. Caden, you look great in the Legendary Edition, my friend. What a good looking guy. Now, he is actually a Sentinel, which is one of the classes that we, of course, could have chosen, uh, but with that, we didn't. So you'll see that he has throw, lift, barrier, stasis, decryption, electronics, first aid, medicine, Sentinel. Now, here's the big thing. This is what we want to do is we want to increase his decryption as much as we possibly can. Uh, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to try to upgrade his decryption uh, as much as possible. We're going to keep his one point there because I want this as high as we can get it. And then we have Richard L. Jenkins. Look at him. You can't actually, oddly enough, you can't to toggle his, uh, you can toggle their helmets off. Uh, Jenkins, you can't. I don't, I don't know why, but you can't. And he is a soldier. One of the, 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 not the basic class of, of this game, but you, you get the idea. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give him some soldier points Frontline warriors trained to withstand that will increase his health and allow limited health regeneration. He's going to be so strong now. We still have our three points. We're not going to put those into anything just yet. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Run around. There's nothing over here. We're going to meet some more gas bags. I have a feeling. The new UI is... Or new HUD. Oh, man. This place is not looking good. Hmm. Get off my screen, tutorial. Thank you. Oh, what are the Jenkins? No! No! 
Jenkins! No! Rip right through his shields. You're at a chance. Oh. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. That poor guy! Jenkins! Guys, I thought for sure Jenkins was was gonna be a hero, but he's dead and we're just gonna leave his body there because we have we have loot to go find. We have gas bags to shoot. Remember, this do count towards the kills, and so we need those kills for that trophy. Metagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies. We have another support of these drones here. We're able to kill these with just one shotgun hit, which I gotta be honest, feels a little weird. And uh, just, excuse me real quick while we just... Like we're definitely we're definitely on uh, we're definitely on insanity, right? Okay, good, because that would have sucked. I've got Those guys have died so fast. Shepherd. A lot of bodies. Huh. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. A lot of bodies, Nyla says. More gas bags. Let's go ahead and finish those up. Beautiful. So we can use the D-pad to issue orders. So we can say, hey, I want you to go over there. That'll kind of run them ahead. And there we go. Down goes another drone. Ooh, a gas bag. So once you are able to actually uh, increase and get those trophies and whatnot, they the trophies in this game, at least in the original, and I'm pretty sure in this one as well, and get another medical kit over here and get a medi gel, uh, you can actually get rewards. Little, little things that affect your abilities by doing those trophies. So, for instance, if you get 150 pistol kills, you get uh, a reduced cooldown on your marksman ability, which, of course, we don't have marksman yet, but that's a pretty big deal. So let's go ahead and have Caden follow us again. Double check to make sure there's no items here. There's not. But we did see a thing about squad. Interesting. I think it was just a tutorial to let us know. So let's continue forward a little bit here. Oh, I saw an upgrade kit. No, not another one. Nice shot. Whoa. I'd like to introduce you to the Geth. Go ahead and see if we can help her out. This new UI is so beautiful. Nice job. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? Yeah, are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. You... Rough. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Oh, man. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Hey, I have an idea. We just lost a soldier. Why don't you we join us? We use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. All right, relax a little bit. Let's ask about the Geth, what see what's going on here. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. So they were an AI created by the Quarians, and then they said, hey, Quarians, we're the boss now. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. 
They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. Look at <laughs> I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? Caden's shown know. holding a gun, but he doesn't have one. They set up camp near the beacon. In his the hands. 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Yeah, I don't know about that. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Look at Kaden holding no a gun. He's not holding a gun. There's no gun there. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. No Turians. Move out! That seemed, uh, that seemed big. We got Paragon, four points. And we got the upgrade kit here that we saw when right before that cutscene. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Good for us. We'll go ahead and pick up this crate as well, which gives us a new light armor for Scorpion. Let's go ahead and do that. You can actually turn that into Omni Gel, by the way. Uh, when you, if you don't, if, if it's something that you don't actually want to want to use you can you can turn it into omni gel which is something that we will be doing at some point in the game trust me um, but i just want to go ahead and explore around real quick make sure that we got everything i believe i got that one down there so let's go ahead and continue on towards the geth but this seems like a good time to look at our newest squad member here ashley williams a soldier just like our dear friend jenkins who unfortunately met his untimely demise Let's go ahead and let's give her assault rifles here for overkill. See how she's doing. And then we're going to go ahead and give her some, uh, let's do some combat armor or assault training. Assault training is really good as well. Uh, but we're going to give her some combat armor just so that she's a little bit more stable. We're still not going to give any points to our, our, our shepherd. And, uh, we're going to still hold on to the point that we have for Caden. And of course we did some, get some equipment from that, including a new... A new piece of armor here for our dear Shepard. Light armor. Remember, as an adept or or if you're an engineer, you can only wear light armor. Uh, this is an upgrade across the board for everything. So let's go ahead and let's equip that. And let's transfer our installed upgrades to this newest item. So we actually get to keep that. And the look changes as well, which honestly uh, looks kind of... Well, you know, I'm not... I, it's ugly. All right? I'm just going to say it. It's ugly. So we did also get a grenade upgrade. I could have sworn we got... Yes, we did get an upgrade. So we can actually do a cryo explosive. This is going to reduce our uh, max accuracy, which isn't great. Uh, but when detonated, they are capable of snap freezing no nearby targets, which is pretty cool. But we're not we're not going to worry about this one. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. I don't care. We can do what we want. And we got phasic rounds for our uh, pistols, which in uh, plus 20% to shield bypass, but it reduces damage by 30 percent instead of projectiles upgraded weapons release charged particle bolts that can bypass kinetic barriers the actual damage done to the target is typically less than what's done by a standard round so that's actually not something that we're going to use right now uh the shields aren't that big of a deal at this point in the game now we are on insanity so everything does have protection everything is shielded uh but we're not going to worry about that too much the prothean beacon is right up ahead so we should make sure that we go and do that so let's go ahead and actually let's send Let's send Caden uh, over there, and let's send um, Ashley. Whoops. I want to send her. Thank you. Go that way. Thank you. And then we'll take cover here. Enter cover by moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. That music moves to the edge of cover. And press to aim. Nice. Thank you, tutorial. Approaching low objects will make you crouch to take cover behind it. There we go. Can you, can you move over there? Thank you. You're in my way, Ashley. You don't have to worry. You won't do damage to them if they're in your way. See the shield. But that's what we needed. We needed, and we leveled up. We are now a, a level, what is that, four? Two? I know math. Quick maths. We actually did take damage there for the first time ever. So we're actually going to run around here where the Geth is. We are going to... Kill him. 
You'll notice that our health is very low. We're going to go ahead and grab this chest real quick, which has a new pistol and a new assault rifle. We ain't looking so healthy here, folks. So let's go ahead and look at our squad. We have nine points now for our shepherd. That is quite a bit of points. Not going to lie to you. So we're going to go ahead. We went from three to nine. You get six points when you level up now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some of these points into charm just to make sure that we have those. One into barrier to make sure that that's a little bit better. And then the rest we're going to put into basic armor so that we can make our way towards that marksman ability. And we're also going to put uh, another point into throw here. This is actually going to make it so that there are certain enemies in this game that are too heavy, and you want to make sure that you have throw or lift upgraded enough so that you can actually move those targets, because they will not move if you don't. Uh, we see that Caden now at level 2 has more points that he can put into uh, his decryption and electronic skills, so we're going to do that right away. Whoop. And now he has Overload. Overload is a new ability that can use electronic seals on easy objects, but it also does 50 damage in a 6 meter radius, does 200 damage to enemy shields, makes them 20% more vulnerable to damage for 10 seconds. Overload is an incredibly, incredibly strong ability and something that we're going to, going to want on our squad at all times during this playthrough. Not only that, but decryption and electronics allows us to open and hack computers and all this other stuff. Very, very important to have somebody capable of doing this on your team. This is the most that we can actually put into his electronics and whatnot so we're going to go ahead and give him first aid as well and then we're going to give him another point into uh actually we're gonna we're gonna redo we're gonna redo that i don't, I don't want to give him a point to sentinel yet just in case just in case so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna save his point and not give it to him ashley also level two we're gonna go ahead and give her some more uh, assault training until she learns adrenaline burst and some combat armor for shield boost and more into her assault rifle just so she does more damage while we're chilling now, if you're like me and you're a little bit low on health, by pressing triangle, you will heal up with a Medigel. Look how easy that was. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And right in front of us, we have the dig site. This is where the Prothea beacon was supposed to be. Wait a minute. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Huh. We should probably head up there. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Oh, okay. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right, cool. We'll 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 uh we'll see you soon then. In the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, we'll go meet up with Kate uh Kaden Hayden's right behind us with <laughs> with Nihilus and see what he's doing. Thank you guys so much for watching our first real episode of this of this series. Uh, the first one, of course, being no gameplay and just and just building our shepherd. In this one, finally, we get into the gameplay of the game and I'm able to uh, get into some combat against some Geth. We learned a lot of stuff uh, about Protheans, the Geth. Uh, this beacon, how humanity even reached the stars, Turians, which is a very big deal, uh, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres again every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Also, a shout out to those on patreon.com slash online. The series would not be possible without your support. Thank you guys so much. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Geth. Bye, everyone.